I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit. Dear friends, we have come together as one family to celebrate the feast of our foundress, Blessed Maria Clara Domino Jesus, whose mortal remains rest in the mother house of the congregation in Lisbon, Portugal. With hearts full of joy, let us sing the mercies of God for the great gift of Mother Clara to our congregation and to each one of us her people.
compassionate hospitality in today's society. Mother Clara was chosen by God to be the cornerstone of our congregation. Though born in a rich noble family, she did not have an easy life. She lost her parents at a very young age and took on the responsibility of caring for her younger brothers and sisters. She handled this responsibility like a true mother, though she was a child herself. She lived for some time in an orphanage where the children of the victims of plague stayed. And later, with the Marquis of Valda, who was a friend of her parents. She was gifted with a rich personality and a determined spirit. All the sufferings she had been through herself made her more sensitive to the needs of others. As she grew to be a young woman, desire to love could be contained no longer. She heard the Lord calling her to be His own. Let us experience once again the infinite and unconditional love that He has for each one of us. Oh, Lord, have 
Blessed Maria Clara, the minion of Jesus, was a woman with a sensitive heart, with no frontiers. She was firm and motherly, and open and compassionate. She was humble and brave and attentive to the world around her, sparing no means or efforts to express the loving care of God among the most neglected people. She nurtured everyone with a special tender care and especially children. Mother Maria Clara dared to incarnate hospitality as a face of God's tenderness and mercy in response to the cries of the world in the middle of a countless adversities challenging our faith our trust in god and in the possibilities of the impossible faith works wonders because a grain of wheat remains no more a single grain unless it is dropped into the ground and dies. If it dies, it, then it produces many grains. Mother Maria Clara crossed the path of death that begets life, a death chosen in love like Jesus. Faithful. Our response will be, Heavenly Father, make us angels of compassionate hospitality. 
welcoming hands to reach out to help to encourage loving and merciful lord thank you for these hands that helps us to do so much good may we always reach out generously to help one another bless our hands to encourage and welcome with hospitality lord we place our hand in your hand and journey with you doing good where there is good to be done response heavenly father make us angels of compassionate hospitality water water quenches cleanses refreshes pure water is the world's first and foremost medicine lord god make our lives generous towards those in need may our presence refresh and rejuvenate all those we meet and communicate your response heavenly father make us angels of compassionate hospitality A tree is rooted, accommodates and freshens. Lord Jesus, help us cope with life being rooted in you. May our lives bear fruit and generously give ourselves in charity, touching the lives of people and bringing them towards you the tree of life. Response: Heavenly Father, make us angels of compassionate hospitality. light light illumines warms gives hope lord jesus light of the world help us be the light that helps others to see and gives us the grace not to be afraid to shine to the world that needs your light may we bring light and warmth to all those who have lost their way in the maze of life response heavenly father make us angels of compassionate hospitality heart no beauty shines brighter than that of a good compassionate heart the most beautiful thing in the world cannot be seen or even touched they must be felt with the heart loving savior you have created us out of love and to reach out in love make our hearts compassionate and kind towards humanity without prejudices thus recognizing your presence in everyone your response heavenly father make us angels of compassionate hospitality smile let us always meet each other with a smile for a smile is the beginning of love gracious lord we bless and glorify you for creating us in your own image and likeness the reflection of a joyful heart is and true a smile which builds a relationship for miles help us o oh lord to build relationships through this little significant gesture of a smile our response heavenly father make us angels of compassionate hospitality concluding prayer lord keep alive and a glow the flame you have enkindled in us true mother clara may the candle of our lives like mother clara's burn out for you grant that undaunted and fearless we may allow your flame 
to burn brightly through the storms of life and as we move ahead with the torch of love handed over to us by the foundress may we carry with us the assurance that you hold us in the palm of your hand secure and safe we make this prayer through christ our lord amen warm wishes to one and all today the 1st of december is a very joyful and happy day for us as we celebrate the feast of blessed mother clara who is the founder of the franciscan hospital sisters of the immaculate conception to which our dear sisters belong on behalf of all the children of mount mary convent high school bandra i would like to say that each and every one of you dear sisters is special and a wonderful gift to us you are the angels in our lives we love you and wish you all a very happy feast Blessed Mother, be unto both humble and true, reaching all out to the needy, the poor and the downtrodden too. All together we stand, holding each other's hand, praying to Mother to give us the grace, so that we can. morning to everyone sisters are a gift that carries the message of the lord i should first thank all the sisters for everything they have done for us but first let me thank all the sisters for all the love they put in everything they do thank you so much sisters for your motherly love care and teachings now i would like to recite a poem written by erin conner dedicated to our mother mother clara although you cannot hear her or see her smile no more she walks bridge you still just as she did before she listens to all your stories 
and wipe away all your tears she wrap her arms around you and she understands all your fear it's that she is not visible to see with human eyes but talk to her in silence and her spirit will reply you will feel the love she has for you in your heart she left her human body but her soul will never be apart she guided us the best she can she taught us like no others i am thankful and the lucky one who gets to call her my mother thank you and do good where good is to be done thank you wishing, wishing all, all my, my dear, dear sisters, sisters a happy, a happy feast, feast.